hi everyone i hope you all are well and today we are going to have a deep analysis of the poem church going by philip larkin as in our previous classes we have talked about philip larkin as a poet the biography of philip larkin and what sort of era he was um living in and uh, what sort of things he was facing and what were the circumstances that forced to shape uh, his poetry so here we are back with the poem the church going now if we see and uh, if we if we go into a deeper analysis as you know that the title is something that actually plays a vital role in understanding a piece of literature because a title is something that is very significant in giving us more than half of the story about the piece of writing a particular piece and uh, if here we see church going so the title is giving us a lot of meanings just like if we if we see church so the word church is basically related to religion and uh, we can connect uh, this very particular theme or concern uh, with larkin's era as you know that larkin was suffering uh, from extreme uh, you know Uh, confessions extreme realities of that time that it was a war and then a post war era and uh, you know that it is a natural thing that uh, we do believe in god and uh, we we seek his mercy in our life but when we see that um, as war uh, you know do with us that people are killed on a large scale so this killing or this bloodshed on a large scale gives us an impact that life is very temporary and there is no meaning in life so basically we try to uh, strengthen our religion or our religious beliefs for the salvation of our soul for the belief that all is going to be well and we are going to be rewarded for our good deed but when you see deaths on such a larger scale uh, for some time for some uh, some very sensitive beings like larkin the beliefs of some people who are not strong at heart that shakes and when we see death on such a larger scale so the first thing that we come across or we we you know we extremely need is the religion so probably by selecting this particular concern uh in his poetry he is directly referring us to the era he was living in so church going you see that the word church is a religious word and that stands for religion that is a religious place where the christians go and they seek their salvation and they purify themselves but when we see the next word that is going so what is what is the meaning of going we we all know when when something is departing when when something is leaving when something is going it means that it is going to be finish so in that way if we connect these two words however these two words have strong meanings in themselves but when we put them together what they mean church going so it means that somewhat to some extent if we see it means uh, that someone is actually going to church church going can stands for uh, some someone who is going to church i mean that someone who is going uh, towards religion because uh, th- there are two uh, cases that happen when we see war when we see bloodshed when we see death when we encounter death actually so the people in that era were actually coming across millions of deaths uh, on a single day so these were the two situations that were happening to them or you can say that there was a category uh, of these two people uh, the one group stands for those who who just felt a dire need uh, to go to religion to connect themselves to religion for their salvation and the second group was that who faced death on such a large scale who lost their loved ones and their beliefs were shaken and they were uh, you know just betrayed they just left the path of religion so these are the two conditions that can be taken these are also the two meanings that can be taken from this particular word from this particular title that is church going so in that way that 
title basically stands for these two meanings the first one is that someone is going to church or he is in dire need to connect himself with the church and the second thing is that the church going so when you see that the first meaning stands if we actually say that going to church so the first meaning if we say that someone is going to church so it it you know it is built in a way that it should be in a way that going to church rather than church going right so but if we if we read church going what does it mean it now actually means that church is going or or the religion is leaving or departing from the world so these are the two meanings you should fix in your mind before going towards the actual poem and uh, side by side you will be anal analyzing this thought that what I idea is suiting best to the thematic concern of the poem so let us find it out first we will move towards the context and then we will also read the setting that in which setting it was written then we will have a look on its text the poetry and then we will discuss in depth its themes and then summaries and, and a deep analysis and what is the tone in the poem so all these things will be analyzed in today's lecture so we are moving towards our first thing that is context okay so context what is the context of this poem now church going is a 20th century example of lyric poetry a form that originated in ancient Greece as verses meant to be accompanied by music played on the lyre. So you know that this poem is actually direct connectly that is you know lyric and uh, that is uh, you know a musical poem that can also be called a lyre. The poem church going represents the thoughts of the poet as he enters a church. So from this very point, we can fix, you know, start noticing the points. Now we are going to discuss side by side that will ultimately give you a deeper understanding and that will unlock a door of uh, multiple thoughts, multiple ideas in your mind that you know, they will be generated in, in the analysis of the poem. So the poet is actually an agonistic but accepts the importance of religion in human culture in the poem the poet questions the utility of churches and hence religion in our life and also seems to make an attempt to understand their attraction so here we have come across two to three things that the poet is actually attracted towards the church and um, he will share his thoughts on entering into a church and the poet accepts that the church are very utilizing in our lives and religion is very important in our life and he has a certain attraction towards uh, religion and the church but if we go through the biography of Philip Larkin we will come to know that his belief on religion was actually very shaken and he was not from the strong believers but let's see that how we are going to explore the this side of Larkin's poetry so if you talk about setting Church going by Philip Larkin describes the emotions experienced by a speaker who is inexplicably drawn to the exploration of churches. And the poem actually begins with the speaker entering into a building the reader later discovers is a church. So the setting is telling you that one person who is seemingly our poet or the speaker, he is going to enter in a building. So if he discovers it later that it was actually a church, it means that he was not deliberately entering into a church. He was actually entering into a building and that was called church and he discovered that um, uh, that he is in the church later on so it, it is giving us a sense that poet is actually not inclined towards religion but ultimately at the end he found himself in a church it means that at last the last hope of a person 
relies in religion and also it is giving us a connotation that poet is actually not a religious person because when we are religious we go to certain religious places and we are very much aware of our religious places but if he has misunderstood a building with a church or or, or a building he didn't know that that was a church it means that actually he was not a religious person and he does not frequently visit the churches so these are the two things that should be noticed so here is the text of the poem Church Going by Philip Larkin. Now let us leave the poem and then we will come back to its analysis. Once I'm sure there is nothing going on, I step inside, letting the door thud shut, another church, matting seats and stone, and little books sprawling of flowers cut for sunday brownish now some bras and stuff up at the holy end the small neat organ and a tense musty unignorable silence brewed god knows how long hapless i take off my cycle clips in awkward reverence Move forward, run my hand around the font. From where I stand, the roof looks almost new. Cleaned or restored, someone would know. I don't. Mounting the lectern, I pursue a few hectoring, large scale verses, and pronounce here and it. Much more loudly than I would meant. The echoes snigger briefly. Back at the door, I sign the book. Donate an Irish sixpence. Reflect the place was not worth stopping for. Yet stop, I did. In fact, I often do. And always end much at a loss like this. Wondering what to look for. Wondering too. When churches will fall completely out of use, what we shall turn them into, if we shall keep a few cathedrals chronically on show, their parchment, plates, and pikes in locked cases, and let the rest rent free to rain and sheep, shall we avoid them as unlucky places? Or after dark, will dubious women come to make their children touch a particular stone, pick simples for a cancer or on some, advise night, see walking a dead one, power of some sort will go on in games, in riddles seemingly at random, but superstition like belief must die and what remains when disbelief has gone grass weedy pavement brambles buttress sky a shape less recognizable each week a purpose more obscure i wonder who will be the last the very last to seek this place for what it was one of the crew that tap and jot and know what rude laughs were some ruin by birth ready for intrigue or christmas addict counting on a hip of gown and bonds and organ pipes and myth or will he be my representative Bold, uniformed, knowing the ghostly silt, dispersed yet standing to this cross of ground, through spurb scrub because it held unsupplied, so long and equally what since is found, only in separation, marriage and birth, and deaths and thoughts of these for which was built, this special show. 
for though I have no idea what this accoutred frosty bone is worth, it pleases me to stand in silence here. A serious house on serious earth it is, in whose blend ear all our compulsions meet, are recognized and robbed as destinies, and that much never can be obsolete, since someone will forever be surprising a hunger in myself to be more serious and gravitating with it to this ground, which he once heard was proper to grow wise in, if only that so many dead lie round. So this was actually the text of the poem Church Coin. As you see that we have come across many words like, like they are uh, emphasizing on the theme of religion departing or leaving the world or questioning that what will be this world if the religion departs. So here we are moving towards the stanza's elaboration or explanation. So in this poem, the speaker of the poem sneaks into a church after making sure it is empty. Now this very thing that the he is sneaking into a building First, he didn't know that it was a church, but later on when he discovers that it is a church, he rather made it sure before going into the church, with sneaking into the church, that it should be empty or if it is empty or not. He lets the door thud shut behind him and glances around at all the fancy decorations, showing his ignorance or indifference how sacred all this stuff is supposed to be so he is actually making a analysis of the surrounding of the church that which thing is placed where and what is the significance of these things he also pours on the idea that how much holy or sacred they are and also, after a short pause, he walks up to the altar and read a few lines from the notes that are sitting on a lectern and after this, he walks back out of the church and slides an Irish sixpence into the collection box. However, he found that he should leave the place and uh, there is an, uh, nothing, you know, he you know, finds that that is worth stopping for. But even then he is donating his six pence he was having into the collection box of the church. It means that, however, if he is not religious, but he is human towards uh, others or towards the world. And he believes in making donation and making good deeds. This box actually, which is basically like donating an old shirt button. So he never puts himself back from donating because that is for humans and that is humanity. The speaker thinks that the place was not worth stopping to check out. But he also admits that he did stop and that this is not the first time he has done so. So in his, com in his um, um, conversation with himself, he is actually wondering that firstly he thought that this place is actually not worth stopping for and he should leave the place immediately but after that he felt that the place is actually somewhat attractive and uh, this happens when a person's belief is shaken and he is not of that religious sort and he does not believe in the religious beliefs like other people do and and they, they don't believe on religion but there is somewhat uh, a place inside the heart that is constantly knocking the heart, that is constantly pushing us towards the attraction of the religion. So Larkin is from one of those people who are very much attracted towards religion, but they do not confess that attraction and uh, probably they have no answer for that um, attraction. But Larkin here also says that he can't help but wonder what he is looking for 
when he keeps coming back to this place like if he does not find anything worth stopping for he is wandering with the idea that what is the thing that is constantly taking him back to this place however every time he returns with an empty mind and uh, you know he always returned unanswered that why he is attracted towards this place but he keeps on visiting the church so he also checks himself about what will happen to the churches when there are no more believers left in the world so at some time he just focuses on the idea that like uh, uh, larkin himself there are many people who are now disbelievers and there is a uh, uh, you know a short amount of people who are left as believers in the world and he wonders upon the idea that what will happen if all the believers will be vanished from the world and what will happen to the churches at that time and he wonders if they will make museums out of the church or if they will just leave the buildings doors open so that sheep can hang out inside them in in any calamity in a natural disaster the uh, the cattle can uh, find any shelter in in such sacred places but here we can also have a point that however at first he was thinking that the stuff that was placed inside the church there that was a holy stuff that was very sacred so if he is then in another thought in another line in another verse if he is pouring into the idea that the sheep and dog can use the churches as shelters when there will be no believers left in the world and when all the religion or religious persons will be vanished so it can be related that larkin was fighting with the two opposite forces in his mind at the same time at one place he is thinking about the church as a very sacred or holy place and at the very next uh, time or in the in a very next moment he finds nothing sacred or nothing of something holy in in this idea nearing the end of the poem the speaker asks what will happen to the world when religion is gone altogether so this is the question that is constantly revolving around the poem and uh, he wonders the, what the very last religious person will be like so here we also have an image that a person the last believer how he will look like will they be an obsessive compulsive who just can't stop wanting to smell incense or will they be more like the speaker someone who is bored and ignorant about the church and just passing by without knowing what they are looking for so here again we are presented with the two um, opposite forces with the two imaginary characters and with the two opposite ideas at the same time Finally the speaker just comes out and admits that he is pleased by the church because it is a serious place for serious questions and humanity he concludes will always have a hunger to ask those big questions like why are we here and where do we go when we die going back to the same idea of war where we come across the thing that the death was happening on a large scale here we are with the same questions that are very directly uh, you know produced in the mind of a witness of of someone who is facing war who is encountering the bloodshed in the war ultimately when we find death on such a large scale our belief in the life is shattered and uh, we are very much into the reality of the life that it is very temporary and that is very uncertain so all these questions come into our mind that why are we here or where do we go when we die and for this reason the kind of urge that created religion in the first place will never go away even if organized churches do sorry it is if you were looking for a poem that just trashes religion and calls spiritual people stupid you will have to look some place else that is the very um, you know picture of graveyard as theme of death is 
the again and again repeatedly served the thematic concern of the poem so here you can see that it is such a serious uh, uh you know expression in the picture one way do not enter and exit only so here can also be symbolizing that we are in the world and uh, we are here to leave it now we will talk about the themes of this poem now the very major or thematic concerns of the poem deals with religion spirituality man and the natural world and time so first we are going towards the theme of religion now in religion if you really wanted to you could say that church going is about the tension between religion and spirituality go ahead to say it a religion here refers to the official answers that spiritual faith gives to those big life questions like why are we here in contrast spirituality tends more to ask questions in this poem you have a speaker who only has a slight knowledge of religion yet this knowledge has a huge impact on him because he often wonders whether or not he is approaching spiritual questions in the right way and religion ultimately doesn't look like he can get behind religion but he definitely admits to the appeal of religion especially for people who want to find something in life and that is worth taking seriously so i hope you did not uh, forget the sentence or the words that we uh, have read in the poem and uh, that was a serious house on serious earth so basically this idea deals with the seriousness or the need of seriousness we have in our life and that seriousness is only find in religion so that can be taken seriously or worth taking in life according to the poet now we are coming towards the theme of spirituality and uh, church going draws a pretty clear line between spirituality and religion spirituality is a part of the speaker that keeps drawing him back into churches even though he does not find anything in organized religion in the sense spirituality refers to the basic human longing that leads people towards religion the poem describes this longing as a profound desire to be serious and to have a serious meaning in life otherwise life is just like a big joke not the funny kind either more like an old dusty knock knock kind for this reason the speaker implies spirituality will always exist even if religion doesn't as i told you that however larkin was not a religious person but spirituality was there when he donates his sixpence in the collection box of the church so religion means knowing all of the customs and rules of a specific faith while spirituality as the speaker shows us can be vague and uninformed according to larkin religion provides hard answers to life's big questions while spirituality is what keeps us asking these questions so there are two different approaches in spirituality and religion in the sense you might say that larkin doesn't necessarily endorse religion but he definitely finds something in the idea of spirituality here is our second theme that is of man and the natural world so here you have seen that as a speaker the theme revolves around the human beings and the natural world is revolving in 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 his questions that uh, what the world is actually becoming 
and uh, what problems are there on the world that are pushing the believers to the unbelievers so while it might not be as big of a deal in church going as religion or spirituality the relationship between humanity and nature helps larkin explore the conflict between the sense of order that humanity tries to force onto the natural world and the indifference that nature has to the sort of effort at several points in this poem the natural world serves as a foil to religion since nature is a symbol of the inevitable decay that happens to everything that human try to impose whether it is something physical like a church or non physical like christian beliefs it may not seem like it heck we may not even want to admit it but humanity is a fleeting thing and so are its attempts to mold the world into its own image nature on the other hand will keep on living long after we were dead for this reason the images of nature in this poem often have almost a past apocalyptic feel to them reflecting a world in which humanity and human forms of one meaning are totally gone so the next theme is of time as you know that larkin constantly questions that the time is passing the church is going the religion is leaving and the future time that how the world will look like when there will be no more believers what will become of the church in the future time so time is all there in the poem like nature time comes up as a theme in church going so mostly for the purpose of showing how temporary humanity's time on earth actually is because all the people were saying in that era was death however it is uh, you know a person's death today or someone else's time is tomorrow but he ultimately has to die so in fact larkin speaker suggests that it is because our time is so limited that we have a longing for some higher purpose or for some sense that our lives will still be meaningful after we are gone and for this reason we might believe we have immortal souls that will go to heaven or maybe we believe that our time on earth is best spent by treating others with compassion and kindness in any case the fact remains that all human beings will one day die and inevitably passing of time is deeply connected to humanity's urge for spiritual significance so we are coming towards the analysis of the poem and analysis is that that this is a seven stanza poem and that is made up of sets of nine lines each of these strophes is constructed with a specific but somewhat halting rhyme scheme in mind philip larkin has chosen to make use of both full and half end rhymes these waiting endings gave the poem a feeling of unpredictability one is never quite sure when the words are going to fall into line or step out breaking the pattern in church going so he is as unpredictable in his setting of the poem as we are in real life and one such stance of these varied types of rhyme is in the first stanza in line 1 and 3 as well as 2 and 4 the poet lines up the words on and stone to rhyme as well as shot and cut the former are connected through a half rhyme and shot and cut through a full rhyme the tone in the poem is actually of the poem that engages the reader in a sort of conversation with the poet as he thinks aloud in the silence of the musty old building we are deliberately told that even for larkin himself 
his visit to the church is just an odd or he is having an add on a convenient stop off on a cycling trip with the first words of the poem once i'm sure there is nothing going on i step inside letting the door thud shut put larkin's reader in a particular spot in time as if they too had come along with the poet for the ride and are breaking their journey with him so that was about so that was about uh, all the church going i hope you people are clear about all the things the settings the themes and the concerns of the poet and uh, also you have gone through different dimensions of the poem now i'm presenting you an analysis through the video on the church going